Ooh wee, that is so pretty. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. We are filming my favorite type of video right now. This is a haul. Y'all know I love to shop, especially when I get stuff on a discount or when I find something I am super excited about. So I have some products today that I'm gonna show you. Some of them I'm wearing. So this is first impressions as well, but I'm pretty excited to show you what I recently picked up. Before we get into it, if you're new, please hit that subscribe button and join the family. We do a lot of hauls, hair, nails, makeup, tutorials, reviews, some fitness, everything related to beauty. So you are gonna love this channel. If you like these kind of videos, please give it a thumbs up and let's jump into this haul. So we're gonna start off with Glamlight Cosmetics. I ordered from their website. I have a few things from Glamlight actually. This I ordered from their website though. Y'all, uh, I was not gonna order this. And then I saw Angela Nyquist do a review and I saw her makeup look. I think it was kind of similar to this actually. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna have to go ahead and put that in my cart. Just stop playing. You know you want it, so just get it done. I don't understand why they sent me this big old box because I did not order the whole kit. I only ordered the eyeshadow palettes and the lip kit, but they still sent all this packaging. I ordered some more stuff, but that's all I ordered from this collaboration. So I am wearing this eyeshadow palette today. I had to. I like to try to wait to give you guys a, like, <laughs> I like to do my hauls first, then do it, but I, but I couldn't. I just had to put it on. This packaging is so cool how it goes back and forth like that. And then this is the eyeshadow palette. When I tell y'all, deep, grungy, like I actually had to go in and wipe some of the makeup off because it had just, the darkness had taken over all the way up to my eyebrow. And I was like, hold on, too much. So I love how this look turned out. There are actually cream to powders in here, which I don't know if that's something that they normally do, None of the palettes that I have have that. Somebody comment below and let me know if this is new to their brand, but this is a cream to powder. This one, um, this one, this one, this one. And I used this, 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 and this, and this. I used all those shades on my eyes today. Now, granted, a lot of it's blended together. Some of it was just kind of overlapping to try to get stuff to blend more because the shadows are so deep. Like I was like, I'm gonna use the black, then I'm gonna use this, this looks black. This is a black, but it has some red sparkles in it. And so I was like, yeah, let me see what that looks like too. So I am gonna have the review up and the tutorial, but I'm so glad I picked this up. Definitely worth it if you can still get your hands on it. For the lip kit, I picked up the neutral one because the other one was a red and I was worried because this packaging looks like this is a red lip kit, but it is not. Um, there's a red one and I just knew that I was not gonna wear that regularly. So I wanted something that I was actually gonna like and something that I thought would go with this eyeshadow palette. So this is what it looks like right here. So cute packaging to match the theme. And then here is the lip liner which honestly I put it on and I felt like it wasn't dark enough. So I went over it with a darker liner, my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Intense 3. Um, and then this is the lip liner. I did that because, I mean the lipstick. I did that because I feel like this lipstick is like super pink and I didn't feel like it matched, I mean kind of, but not really, matched my eyeshadow. So I just wanted to make it more make it match more, but this together, I feel like it's like the perfect everyday combo. So glad I picked up the neutral cause this will get more wear than the other one. Up next from Glam Light, that's all from the Chucky <laughs> collaboration that I got. So the rest of this stuff was just trying to make shipping free. Y'all know how that goes. This is their Glam Light Fresh Baked and Delicious Glam Lash. 
Now, I have this pizza palette. I've never worn it. I've never used it. Never even swatched it. But that's not what we're talking about. I saw these lashes. Y'all. <laughs> lashes always look so much smaller online. This is what they look like. First of all, I think the packaging is super cute. But these are long. These are really long. I love the shape of them. I love the style. But Jesus. I'm going to try them out. Because the bottom... Or am I going to put them in a giveaway? That is so long. Like I have others this length that I have put for a giveaway. So what's going to make me try these that I haven't tried this length any other time? I don't know. We have another pair of lashes. This is the Chocolate Taco Lashes. This is cute. Like all their packaging is always cute and fun. Now this is more up my alley. These are still a little long but they're wispy and they're flared. This is usually what I tend to gravitate towards. So yeah, I can work with these. One more pair of lashes. This is the Choco Lash. I'm gonna take these out of the pack because they have this plastic and my lights are going to glare, but these look very long, but they are also very wispy. I don't know if I've ever tried anything like that before, so these should be interesting. As long as the band is not too stiff, because like the ones I have on today, I'm going to have to play with them. I don't know if I'm going to wear them again. These are something else I just recently hauled. The Ilor London Pro Magnetic Magnetic Eyeliner and Lash System. This is their Faux Mink. These... Y'all, it took me so long to get these lashes on, and I put about five layers of the magnetic glue, which I don't know where I stuck it. Oh, here it is. So it, it came with its own, and it says on the back, put three layers. Three layers was not enough, only because the way these lashes are shaped, they are almost like flat. So to put them to for the magnets to stick, it's almost like they're straight out versus curved upwards. So I was trying to put them on and have them curve up, but it would just pop off. So why I don't own an eyelash curler, I have no idea. I need to buy one, but these lashes need to be curled and the band is stiff. So I'm gonna try to work with them because it says you can wear them up to 15 times, but if I have that much trouble again, I'm gonna put them in the trash and not even think twice about it. I guess we'll stay with Glam Light. I went to TJ Maxx. No, I ordered this from their website as well. Yes, when I ordered this. Let me put <laughs> everything together. So I ordered this. I have wanted this since it came out. This is the Glam Light Dirty Martini palette, which is part of their drinks collection. And so I looked at all of the ones in the collection. There was one other one that I kind of liked, but I was just like, we're not going to buy kind of liked. We're going to buy what you really want and be done with it. So... Of course, y'all know I had to go to green. I love this packaging. I think it is so cute. And even though it is a pain to get this out of here, I am probably going to keep it. Keep the packaging just because of how cute it is. So this is the packet, the palette by itself. And then this is the packaging, the palette. <laughs> I'm too excited. I haven't used this. I haven't swatched this. So I just noticed, no, so these are not, no, these are just regular mattes. I was wondering, because the one that I just reviewed, the Chucky one, had the cream to mattes, if this, ooh, had that too, but it does not. I'm just swatching a few of the shades right there. So this is very pigmented. I don't know if you guys are familiar with their formula. This is fairly new to me. I have stuff in my collection I just haven't used, so... Anytime there's a green palette that has shades in it that I think I'm going to like, I'm probably going to pick it up. I'm going to just say that green and purple, it is what it is. The palette that initially prompted me to make the order, I'm blaming this on Jamila. This is the Scooby-Doo Creeps and Crawls 10 Shade Palette. I picked this one up because literally the review said this palette is too deep. Baby, what does that even mean though? I love grungy, dark palettes. I love shadows that you put them down and it's like pop you in the face. 
Yes, they are harder to blend. They take more time. But I would rather that than having to keep trying to build something up and it never get the opacity and the depth that I want. You know, that just, I don't want to work that hard to build it up. I'd rather work hard to blend it out. That's just me. So I thought this was cute, but this kind of reminds me of one of the Ace Beauté palettes. I don't remember which one though. I can't think of the name right off the top of my head, but this is so, so pretty. So pretty. And these shades are so deep. This looks like a multi-chrome. I always say multi. Y'all know what I mean. It shifts, but I think it might just be because there's um, some different kind of glitters in it. I don't know, but yeah, I, I will take deep like this all day. I wasn't going to do swatches, but you know, sometimes you have to. Oh my God, that dark purple looks almost black. See, it's like they're, oh, that navy blue. Um, It's almost like they're, okay, you got to be careful because pushing into these, they literally make a dent. So this is what the, what they look like. I didn't even push hard. Do I have room? I hate swatching. That's that dark purple. Oh my God, the pigment. Oh, that is so pretty. I hope you can see the reflex. It kind of has like a blue reflect to it. Look at that shade. Can you imagine a smoky eye with that? That's pretty. Did I get this one? I don't think I swatched this one very well because I wasn't doing swatches, but you get the gist. And I feel like all these shades go well together. So this is going to be another one that I'm going to play in soon. I picked up another pair of lashes. These are the Michaela and Glam Light collaboration lashes. I think these were, I'm pretty sure these were on sale, which is why I picked them up because I need another pair of lashes like I need a hole in my head and these are huge. They did not look this big online, but these are pretty big. <laughs> I need to just stop buying lashes. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like, here's what I don't understand. So a lady in Sephora told me that if you get lashes that have the thicker band, once you mold them correctly, they're easier to just put on. But I always thought the clear, invisible, flexible bands would be easier to put on. Now I'm having trouble putting them on again. I got good for a second and now it feels like I'm bad again. So if y'all have tips, I know you're supposed to like look up and use your mirror and look down and you got to trim them and all that stuff, but I just can't freaking get them to stick. Sometimes my glue works, sometimes it doesn't. It's probably just me, I realize that, but I will take any other tips and tricks that y'all have for lashes. We have another eyeshadow palette. This one, I bought this one from Mercari because I wanted to try the Odin's Eye brand so bad. The new collaborations just dropped and there was one of them, the one with like the blue, is it purple in it too? I can't, Lauren, Lauren May Beauty's palette with them. I liked hers the most, but I don't know. I kind of felt like if I don't like the formula, I don't know. I was just hesitant to buy it. So I really wanted one of the other collaborations that they had, like with Tina, the fancy face and Angelica. And I found this one on Mercari and it was brand new. And it was only $60. I don't know what the regular price was, but other people were charging like $150 for these palettes marked up. So I picked up the Gila palette. They also sent me, this is a dry brush cleansing sponge. So she sent this with the palette. Thank you, ma'am. The gorgeous packaging, everything came secure and she threw in some goodies. She also sent me this Sinful Color Shade Boss eyeshadow single. Love me a blue shadow, so thanks again for that. Got these little Tula skincare samples. She sent a Tom Ford blister pack with some foundation shades. And then she sent like all the original packaging. She even sent the scarf that came with it. I'm so glad I picked this palette. Like I know I love greens, I thought from other reviews that maybe this was going to be too light, but no, it is so pretty. Love the packaging. I think it's cute. These shades. Oh my God, I cannot wait to put this on my eye. 
and I love that I was able to get one that has not been used. This does come with a mirror, but look at how pretty this is. Like, I love that you can do a kind of neutral, like a neutral yellow, because there's no, like, cream color shade, but you can use that yellow, and I think it would be really pretty. You can go green. You can even put these pinks with this purple. This is a purple down here. But then you can also go grungy with it, and I think one of these is a multi-chrome, maybe? I don't know. It doesn't even matter. I just think this is pretty, and the color story is pretty. Love the pops of pink, so I am glad that I picked this up, and I finally get to try the brand. The next items I picked up, I shopped the Tarte Friends and Family Sale, so they had 30% off on their website, so I got a few little goodies. Some of their new stuff that I have been interested in trying, these are things that I felt like I'm really going to enjoy this or I really want to try this and I'm going to buy it because it's on sale, but I probably wouldn't if it wasn't on sale. So I don't know if that's going against my rule or not of not just buying stuff that's on sale. I don't know. But the first thing I picked up is this Tarte C Glotion. This is a skin perfecting primer. I bought this because it says it helps to even skin tone and smooth texture. It hydrates, brightens, and blurs, and it primes to help the look of your foundation. So I feel like I'm wondering if this is going to be... Kind of similar to my L'Oreal Glow Lock that you can find on Amazon, but you can't pick it up in stores anymore. I don't know if it's on L'Oreal's website or not, but I've been liking hydrating, smoothing primers. So thought this was good to pick up, especially with the 30% off. This palette I'm blaming on Tina, the fancy face, because she said she recently tried this and thought it was really good. And I have not been interested in a Tarte palette in a minute. This is their Sugar Rush um, Sweet Tarte Cravings Eyeshadow Palette. This is one of their, it's not a sis, I guess it's not a sister brand, but it's like a branch off of Tarte for like younger, I guess like younger, like a younger crowd, a younger demographic because it is cheaper, but I mean it's Tarte, so hopefully the products are still as good. So this is what it looks like. I love this packaging. I think it's really, really kind of like I didn't expect it for how much the palette costs. I think it was like under $30. This is so cute. The detail that they put into each of the shadows, like how it's em not embossed, the imprint on it. I just thought that was so pretty. And she said she really liked these shadows. It's a neutral palette. I don't want to swatch this one because, I don't know, I just feel like, what's the big deal? Well, let me swatch this dark shade. Yeah, that's pretty dark. It kind of borderlines berry. We'll swatch a couple, I guess. So just three right there, the darkest shade, and then a couple of the shimmers. But I think this is really pretty, and I think it'll be a great everyday kind of neutral palette. Next, I picked up this Tarte Dab & Go Hair Concealer. I got this because it's a black-brown shade um, it's supposed to help with like covering if you have grays in your part, something like that. Also, if you feel like your hairline is thinning a little bit, kind of like topics and the color wow powder, just if you need to fill in some spots that are a little sparse, I always do that around my forehead because it's big enough. It doesn't need help. So I just grabbed this because 30% off. Um, I also like, oh, that looks a lot darker than I thought. Oh, yeah, that's dark. That's not black brown. That is black. Crap. Yeah, that is definitely dark. Well, all right. I just need to be aware that I need to use this lightly. But I think this would be something that's good to put in my travel bag because I do use this when I wear like headband wigs and my hair is pulled back some. Just always good to have the option if I need it. Next, I picked up one of their Shape Tape Correctors. So this one is in the shade orange. I don't know when these came out, but I'm always in the market for a good orange corrector to help with my under eye circles and then the discoloration on my chin. So I hadn't tried this one, figured I'd give it a go now. These two I bought because I needed to try both of them. This is the Sculpt Tape and the Blush Tape. So the Sculpt Tape I got in deep brown and I thought I heard good reviews about this and then I heard somebody else review it and said they didn't like it because the formula was too thin. 
So now I'm a little nervous. I haven't tried like the Charlotte Tilbury one. I think Elf has one. I haven't tried that one either. So this will be my first time trying anything like this. So it has that little sponge tip and you squeeze. I don't want to squeeze too hard. You twist it. Oh, there's an on and an off when you twist it. So now it's on. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to squeeze hard. Okay. So the product is coming out the top. And I guess we'll just dab. Oh, that's a pretty shade. I'm going to leave that and see how it dries down. The shade before this one, I think might have been a little too light and it was sold out anyway. So I think I'm kind of glad I got this one. And then the blush, I got the berry, which is the deepest shade I think they had. So again, I just wanted to be like the cool kids and try this. Oh, that ain't berry. That's pink. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. His oops, I should close these back. I don't think I closed the other one. My only issue with ordering from brands is I feel like I have a harder time going wanting to go through the process of returning these versus I bought it from Ulta. I can just go down the street and return it. Yeah, I didn't close this other one. Um so even if I don't like it, I'm still going to keep it because I don't want to deal with the hassle. But that is berry. That's not berry. That is like pink. Whatever. We'll make it work. Um, I also picked up their Clean Slate Blur Balm. Now, I love the Clean Slate Primer. That is one of my all-time favorite primers. I have not really found anything that is exactly a dupe of it. I do like the L'Oreal Age Perfect Primer that's also in a pot. That one's kind of close. Probably closer than anything else I've found. It's at the drugstore, but it is super expensive for the drugstore. So I'm wondering if this is supposed to be like their take on the Danessa Myricks Balm, which I'm wearing today. So let's see. This does feel like it. So the Danessa Myricks one is really creamy and I feel like this one's creamy, but Danessa's dries down to a powder. So let's see. Doesn't really have too much of a scent. What is in here? Let's see. Helps fill in lines, erase the look of pores, smooth texture, blur imperfections, and improve the wear of your makeup. Has vitamin E and sunflower oil. And it says that you should use this focusing on the T-zone, around the nose, chin, fine lines, and texture. Interesting. Because that's exactly how I use the Danessa Myricks one. So we're going to see if this dries down. Ooh. Okay, so I just put this on my hand right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. Okay, it definitely dried down. It feels smoother. It almost kind of feels like that dimethicone feel like when it dries down, but this is not slippery at all. This is coming upstairs because I'm gonna have to check it to see if this is a dupe for the Danessa Myricks. They also sent this cute little free gift. This is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lipstick. It's a tiny little sample. This one is in the shade Rose. I don't have any of these. I'll probably go with what I have on. Oh yeah, that's pretty. What is that smell though? No, it's not this. I don't feel like this smells like anything. I thought I smelled something. It's a full coverage lipstick that feels like a balm. I agree with that. Long lasting juicy shine for smoother, plumper looking lips. Okay, well, you're gonna go in my purse. Thank you. That is it from Tarte. So now we're gonna move on to Milani. I placed an order on their website for one product. I went on the website for one product. This is not one. <laughs> this is not one product. So y'all know we ain't paying for shipping. We're not. So whatever. This, I picked up their Perfect Duo blending sponges. This was literally just a cart filler to not pay for shipping. There are two sponges in here and one is smaller than the other. So I'm guessing the smaller one is good for your concealer and then the other one is good for your face. And this packaging, I can't get this out of here. 
They feel very soft to start. It does have like one side that's slanted and then the other side that's round. And then the concealer one has the exact same shape. So I don't know that I've ever used a smaller, I have not ever used a smaller sponge to blend my concealer. So I don't know if there's any benefit to that, but I'm willing to try it. Now, the reason I placed the order to begin with, I wanted to try this Milani, what is it called? Highly rated extensions. I didn't need to buy two, but I'm praying that I love it. And that's why I bought two. So this is a tubing mascara. Y'all know, I talk about this every time I talk about a tubing mascara that I've been on a hunt for something to replace my Thrive Cosmetics. And I haven't found anything yet. So... I need to try this. I'm going to open one of these right now because I've been waiting to compare this. I was watching Jen Phillips and she said this is a dupe and she has both. So I'm going to have to see for myself. I don't think I meant to grab two of these, but I think they were on sale. I don't have my receipt of what I paid, but this is the Milani Avocado Butter Lip Mask. I was wondering if this is kind of like the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I tried the, what brand is it? Lawless um, sleeping mask. I don't really like that to sleep with. I like it for a gloss, but it just, it's not giving me sleeping mask vibes. I don't know why, what it is about it I don't like. This one says it's intensely nourishing, locks in moisture and replenishes overnight. So I'm gonna bring one of these upstairs, but I use a lot of lip gloss. A lot of times on my no makeup days or my light makeup days i always put a lip liner and i put something like that on so can never have enough of those next i picked up two of their understatement lip liners i picked up one in the shade sienna style and one in rich cocoa rich cocoa is a gorgeous everyday brown for me it's not too deep it's deep enough if i want to deepen up a lip color or light enough that i feel like I can wear it with a gloss and blend it together and it'll be fine. So that's what it looks like right there. I'm about to put this up here. <laughs> Actually, this might need to go in my purse. I need to check my purse stash. This other one, Sienna Style, I don't think I've tried this shade before. I don't know. Okay, it looks like there was one I got that was a toffee kind of color. This is a little, this is... It's not red, but I don't know what to make of this shade. I'm trying to think of what I would wear that with. I might have to keep her out first just to see because I have no idea. But I love the formula of these. I love that it is a retractable pencil. I don't, these are the ones I bring in my purse because I don't have to have a sharpener. So that is a must. Next, I picked up their clear brow liquid brow wax stay put liquid brow wax i think i was just intrigued because you know everybody's doing the brow freeze and the brow wax and all this stuff i'm a brow gel girl i think it's easier probably just because that's what i'm used to using i'm about to use this right now because i have nothing in my brows so this says it's a lightweight liquid wax with up to 16 hour hold it dries transparent and it has nourishing shea butter and argan oil. So it says brush brows in an upward outward motion and press gently to set. Okay, this is making me nervous. I'm gonna do it on this eyebrow <laughs> since it's partially covered, but you see that looks white. Yeah, let's do it on this eyebrow. I can feel it. I can definitely feel it on my skin. And then you gotta press it down. What am I supposed to press it down with? Y'all didn't give me nothing to press it down. <laughs> Let me use this. It took a little bit of my product off. What? Oh, that feels sticky. Okay, you can see it made a difference, but I feel like it also took a little bit of my product off. So I don't know how I feel about that. I think I'll use it again. I need to fix my eyebrow. Um, I might, I don't know if it's from 
like if it would do that with my regular products. I tried a new brow product today that was too waxy and I didn't like it. So I'm wondering if maybe that's why it pulled that off. So I'm going to try that again later. The next thing I picked up is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Blur Out Powder. Now I have the Milani Translucent Setting Powder. This is supposed to be new and different and super blurring. So I'm not going to open this right now. It's just a translucent powder, but when it's time to do a review, this will be one of the first ones that I grab. Next, we have some products from Target. I, uh, <laughs> I have no excuse. I went to Target. Anytime I go in a store that has makeup, I go down the makeup aisle and I look. I saw, so I told you guys that I wanted to try more of the brand Thread. It's a black owned brand and tar seeing it in Target was the first time I saw it. I tried their um, foundation stick and I liked that. I think the one I got was a, like a smidge too dark and I think I was trying to use it as a contour. I was going to get another one and then I was like, Barbie, you don't need to. Instead, I got the concealer. So this is in the shade 06 Tan Deep. I kind of don't want to open this because I have so many concealers open, but I am very curious. Actually, yeah, I need to open it because if it's too dark, I can bring it back. I don't know anything about the formula of this. I've never heard anybody talk about it. This looks kind of golden. Oh, I can tell you she's probably going back. I don't do these yellow. Mm -mm. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I'm probably going to bring it back. I feel like I should try it, but I already know. I'm going to let it dry, but this is not the shade of concealer I use. So we're going to keep that right there. I also picked up this ColourPop Fresh Greens Eyeshadow Palette. We just talked about my obsession with greens. I have two green eyeshadow palettes that I just bought. Now, I picked this one up because I picked up Sage the Day. And then I was kind of confused because I was like, wait, is this the same thing? They are not. And then I wasn't sure which one I wanted to keep. But looking at these now, I'm keeping Sage the Day. This is cute. And if I didn't have Sage the Day or the other two I just bought, I might keep it. But I don't need to keep this. I think I was looking at this shade and I was like, ah, oh, but I like that. No, we're not doing that. So she is probably going to go back. I don't need two green eyeshadow palettes from... ColourPop. I just don't. We're going to talk about the foundation I have on my face right now because this is my first time trying it. It's from the drugstore and it is freaking amazing. This is the L'Oreal True Match. I've never tried L'Oreal True Match. In all the years of wearing makeup, I have never tried it. And apparently I've been sleeping. Now, I don't know if this is a new formula. I know it's new packaging with the pump, which thank you. But I got the shade N8. Y'all, this is so pretty. Now, I put this on on top of my Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm. I don't know if that's why my face looks so good today, if I do say so myself. But the color match, great. The finish, like, look at my face. Like, I just... I had no idea. Apparently I've been sleeping and now I'm woke and this is going upstairs in my bathroom. Two more products from Target. I don't know why I needed to pick these up other than they're pretty and they're multi-chrome. So I guess that answers why. These are from the lip bar. These are their color shift duo, oh, duo chrome, not multi-chrome liquid eyeshadows. So I picked up the shades Eclipse and Star Studded. So this is the packaging and that's what they look like. My lights are not going to let you see this. I'm going to swatch them. Um, it's a it's a duochrome. It's a shifty shade. It's from the drugstore. It's a black owned brand. I can come up with a million excuses, but at the end of the day, I picked the two shades that I thought were going to be the prettiest. So, oh, these are so cute. Okay, so let's do, which one is this first? So star studded. I hope my lights pick this up. Please pick this up. Like there's some blue in here. There's some gold. There's some green. So we'll put her where we want to put her right here. Mm -hmm. It does like a good olive. 
red, like so many shifts in this. I just wonder how these dry down. The other one is called Eclipse. They kind of look similar and I think that's why, or maybe not, I got them both because I couldn't pick. Uh, not too similar. It just depends on what angle you're looking at them from, but this one is like green, red, gold. The other one's more, I don't know, because sometimes I look at it and it looks red. They're clearly different, so you can see that, but just... I feel like drugstore options, plus at Target, if you use your red card, you get another 5% off. I think it's worth a try. I have another eyeshadow palette. <laughs> I actually bought this. This has been sitting for me to film. I think I bought this last year. Where This is currently March. I don't know when you're seeing this video because I get behind on editing. But y'all know this. I think it just came back in stock. This is the Clarity Cosmetics crock palette was no way at all i was going to try to talk myself out of buying this if y'all saw this color story <laughs> another reason why that color pop gotta go back look at this i have not used it i have not swatched it oh my god uh, snapper i have to swatch <gasps> it's a duochrome Swatch this kind of pewter taupey shade. Let's swatch the brown. Okay, good. That is deep. Let's swatch the matte green. That is like really, really pretty. And then let's swatch this death roll. Oh. Look at these shades. This one right here is Snapper. It's supposed to be the duochrome, multichrome. I don't know what, but... Yes, 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 yes. Super, super shiny. This is that kind of pewter shade called Let's Crock and Roll. That's that matte brown. Oh, that is so deep, deeper than I thought. This is the green, which that has some really good pigment. And then this is one of the metallics. Look at how pretty this color story is. And that ain't even all the colors. I had to have it. I was not even going to try to talk myself out of it. Like I didn't, it needed to be in my collection. I also picked up one of their single shades. This had actually been on my wish list for a while. So when I knew, I knew when I ordered something else from the brand, I was going to order this. This is their pressed single pan eyeshadow in You Grow Girl. Yes. Y'all, I saw them swatch this and I was just like, baby baby okay that's showing red this thing flips all the way to green like I gotta swatch it I gotta swatch it I see some green I see some gold <sighs> okay hold on oh y'all know how I get do you see that Oh my God. I love that it even has like some blue in it. Like look at it on my finger. Look at how shiny that is. <laughs> Ooh wee. That is so pretty. I've been sitting on this literally for three months and I didn't even swatch it. I got to figure out where to put this and how to Bro, I thought I broke it. How to put this that I do not break it because I'm notorious for dropping stuff, but this shade. Okay, let's move on because I can gag with this all day. This should not be included in this haul, but I used it. So I want to talk about it because I used it today. This I got from TJ Maxx. It was $6. This is the lip bar. Fresh Glow Bronzer and Blush Duo. This is in the shade, is that the name of it? Got a glow? No, Double Date. Okay, so I have this one today. The bronzer is a lot deeper than I thought it was gonna be. Why is it so hard to get out the packaging? Because I want it to be extra and put it back. This was a lot deeper than I thought it was going to be. There is a lighter option, but I thought that it was going to be too light for me. And now I'm not sure based on this. 
But I think this packaging is so cute. Like, this could go in my travel bag. I love products that are packaged like two for one and then you don't have to bring extra products. This is the bronzer. It is super deep. It does have a little, little tiny bit of shimmer in it, but you can't see that on my face. The glow that you're seeing is not from that. It is from this. This blush reminds me of <sighs> Colored Rain Just Peachy. I have that. I didn't realize that this was going to look that much similar, but I don't even care because this is like a fire red orange and it is just so, so pretty. These are the shades together. You can see that bronzer shade. That's a contour shade. That is not a bronzer. But this blush, it is just super, it is shimmery. So I used it, but I used it with a light hand that looks patchy, but you know the drill when you blend it out. I put this on in my hollows to contour and then I had to go over it with another bronzer that could help blend it out because it was just too deep for me. But I love how this looks. Absolutely love. And it was still like, it was glowy. I still put highlighter on and I just think everything looks sculpted and y'all see that profile? I know I'm being extra. I always act extra like this when I take the time to do a super glam look. So I think that this, if you can find this at your TJ Maxx or anywhere else where they sell it, I think you should look into it. Try to get it. Try to pick it up if you think the shades will work for you. I have another item that I want to share and this goes with hair stuff because I found this on Amazon. I actually saw this on another website that I order wigs from and that's called Human Hair for What? It is a black owned brand out of Texas. I think she's in Houston actually. Um, but she has a product like this and it's always sold out. And then I found this one on Amazon. So I just grabbed it to try it out. This is a wig cap, but it has the wig grip built in and the lace. I've never seen anything like this before. So when you put this on, the velvet kind of part right here this is the wig grip so it keeps your wig from sliding back and then you velcro it in the back and then this top part is to protect your hair and it's like a satin I don't know what this is made out of but you put this whole thing on your head you have your parting space so you can shift it as needed and then it serves as a cap and a wig grip all in one so I've been waiting to tell you all about this. I did try it out once and I think it is very comfortable. I feel like putting them damn wig caps on my head, y'all, I get a headache. I get a headache. They are so tight and I have a big head. This is adjustable, so I'm probably going to order another one of these to have as a backup. Last but not least, we are going to go into nails. Anytime I get a notification that Vanity Table is having a sale on their um, finger suit press-ons, Puts in the cart, checks out immediately, not even a question. I love their press-ons. I love that they have so many different designs. And they're not that expensive. Like $15 and there's 40 nails in the pack. Like I really think it's worth it. Some people are paying... I've heard people paying as much as $100 for a set of nails or more. I would never, could never. But this just, I like these because put them on... When I need to pop them off, pop them off quick. They don't damage my nails. I also like, which some people may not like, these are kind of soft. So if you hit them against something really hard, they'll bend, but they don't pop off and they don't break. So I like that because it doesn't hurt. But let's go through these colors real quick. So this first one is called Bada. So it is a blue... Come on, lights. Maybe if I keep it back here. It is a blue, but it's almost like a watercolor. So it has purple. I love these. Absolutely gorgeous. Light blue, dark blue, purple, iridescent. Super pretty. This next one, also another gorgeous shade. This is Candy What Land. I, thought I was about to say Candy Lane. Also kind of watercolor. I love that each nail looks different. Well, like... The same size ones kind of look the same, but across the sizes, they look different. So 
I love nails that look like it's something that would be really hard to do on your own. Like, I could not paint this. Some people probably could, but I can't. Next, I picked up Sapphire Blue. Are these just straight blue? No. Okay, so it might be hard to pick this up on camera, but they start off as a light blue and then have a gradient to a dark blue. Y'all know I love my blues. The ones I have on today, these are a glue-on pair from OPI. It's a new iridescent line that they have. These are so pretty. But I will tell you, I cut them, and now the edges are starting to come up, like the paint is coming off. So if you don't like long nails and you're going to have to cut these, just be aware you're probably not going to be able to wear them as long if you do a lot with your hands. This is another, I picked up two, I guess, of Candyland. I don't know how many other duplicates I have. This is not a duplicate. This is graffiti. I think this is so cute. It is a different take on a French French manicure. It has the white on one side and then it has a little bit of gray on this side. So I don't wear French manicures a lot, but I like this because it's different. This next one is called Acai, which gorgeous purple with also a different kind of take on a French manicure. So super cute love that color this is spring night this is gorgeous so this goes from like a nude to a sparkly silver at the top it's almost like a grungy kind of gray so so pretty this one is called flawless i hope you guys can see this has like an iridescent pearl kind of green i feel like i can't tell if y'all can see this or not but anyway, yes, flawless. It looks just like a pearlish kind of, these are not coffin, these are more of a round. Normally I get the coffin, but sometimes I'll grab those too. This is another back, oh no, this is not the same. Well, what's the difference? Let's look at the difference because the first one I showed you is Bada. Okay, I see it, they are very similar. So one is Bora Bora. This is the one you haven't seen yet. So this is also another watercolor, marble, kind of purple, blue. And then this is the one that I showed earlier. So they look similar, but the one at the top is a little bit lighter. I should take these out the pack to show you, but I hope y'all get the gist. Picked up another pack of Bora Bora. I knew I was gonna love this shade. And another of Bada. <laughs> Sometimes these actually go out of stock and you can't get them. So if I find something I like, I'm going to order more than one. I have worn these before or is this new? No, so I, this is a backup. I love this color. This is called Rainy Saturday and it is a nude to this metallic chrome blue. Me and my blues. So, so pretty. And then last I picked up did I buy this? I don't think I bought this. I don't think I bought this. They sent me a box of prep pads. These work really well. I used to just use alcohol to wipe off my nails to dry them out to make sure there's no oil or moisture. But then it seems like when I use their prep pads, I use two of them. And it's almost like it makes it a little sticky and it helps it last longer. So they do send these in the packs. And then if you place a bigger order, they send extras, which I really appreciate. All right, guys, so that is it for this haul. Y'all know I got excited about my eyeshadow palettes. I always do. And yeah, that was pretty much the thing that I wanted to show you the most, I guess. Um, of course, the nails too, because I'm excited about those. But if you enjoyed this haul, please give it a thumbs up. Tell me what you guys want to see first, if you're interested in trying any of it, or if you have any of these products already, I would love to know which ones. If you're new, I hope you decided to join the family and I will see you in my next video. Bye.